everyone, this is Sarah with RegisterNurseRN.com and in this video I'm going to go over how to read syringes. In this video I'm going to go over five basic syringes that you will be using as a nurse and show you how to read each of them. Now as a nurse you're going to have a lot of different types of syringes at your disposal and you want to select the correct syringe for the amount of medication that you want to give. For instance, say that the physician has ordered 0.5 milliliters of morphine. The 3cc syringe is the best for drawing that medication up to get the most accurate dose. However, on the other hand, if you're going to give 0.25 milliliters of a medication, the one milliliter syringe is the best for that. So let me show you the basic parts of a syringe. Here is a basic 10 milliliter syringe. And anytime you have a syringe, you always want to look at its total capacity it can hold. And this one holds 10 mLs. Now, as a side note, 10 mLs is the same as 10 cc's. So if you hear someone say, let's give two cc's, it's the same as two mLs, just to let you know that. Now, let's go over the basic parts of the syringe. Okay, so here at the top, this is our adapter part, and this is where you would screw on the needle if you were gonna give an IM injection. And um, now in the hospital, we use needleless devices, so we would just screw this adapter part onto the IV, the hub of the IV or the line, and then we would just give our medication that way. Now, the other part that's important is the barrel of the syringe. The barrel has a scale on it and this scale tells us how much of a medication we are going to give based on whatever the doctor ordered. Now every syringe is different in how it measures. That's why I say get familiar with how much your syringe holds, which we're going to go over in depth here in a second with each individual syringe. And you have a scale, so at the top it's zero, then you have a line in between that, and then you have one, then you have another line, and then you have a big two, and it measures onward. Now, one thing that you wanna keep in mind is how to actually measure the fluid that you're drawing up with this plunger. So let's go over the other part, the plunger. I'm gonna take it out so you can see it. The plunger has a top part and a bottom part and it also has a beveled area. And whenever you're actually drawing up the medication, you're gonna line the lineup that's on the scale of your barrel with this top part of the plunger, not the beveled part, the top part. Now let's go over how to read each syringe. First, we're gonna start with the easiest syringe, which is the 10 milliliter or 10 cc syringe. And as you can tell on this picture, each area is measured out. So the top part where the top line is 0.5 milliliters. Then it goes to one, then the next line is 1.5. Then it goes to two, then the next line is 2.5 and so on. So this syringe, based on how its scale is set up and its capacity, it measures by 0.5s. Now let's test your knowledge. Based on the yellow line, what is the measurement of this syringe? And the answer is 4.5 mLs. Now let's look at the five milliliter syringe. And as you can see on this, this has a little bit more lines in between the main measurements than the 10 cc syringe. And that very top line is zero. And then below zero, you have 0 0.2, then 0 0.4, then 0 0.6, 0 0.8, and then the huge line is one. So that is where one milliliter is at. Then after that, you'll count by twos, the point twos. So it'd be 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 1.6, 1.8, and two. And then so on, it would keep measuring that amount until you hit five mLs. Now let's look at this syringe. Based on the yellow line, what is the measurement of this syringe? The answer is 2.2 mLs. Now let's look at our three milliliter syringe. This syringe even further breaks down the measurements so you can really draw up a smaller amount of a medication. For instance, like I said at the beginning of the video, this syringe is really good for drawing up a medication if you just have to give 0.5 of something. So that top line is zero, and then as you pull the plunger down, this syringe goes down by 0.1. So you have 0.1 mLs, 0.2, 0.3, 0.4, and then you have half, 0.5. 
then you have 0 0.6, 0 0.7, 0 0.8, 0 0.9, and then one, and then so on until you get a total capacity of three mLs. Based on the yellow line, what is the measurement of this syringe? The answer is 0.7 mLs. Our next syringe is the one milliliter syringe. And this syringe, if you don't have good eyesight, you really have to squint to see the little lines, but it's really good for giving those medications where you have to give just a little bit, like the 0.25 mLs. Okay, on this syringe, as you can see, um, the top line will be zero, and then this particular syringe will measure down by 0 0.01. So you have 0 0.01, 0 0.02, 0 0.03, onward until you hit 0.1 mLs, and then it'll just keep on going until you hit a total capacity of one in mLs. Based on the yellow line, what is the measurement of this syringe? The answer is 0.25 mLs. Okay, this is our very last syringe, and this is a syringe that you will be using a lot whenever you are giving diabetics insulin, and it is a syringe that holds a total of 100 units because insulin is measured in units. And it looks a little similar to our one milliliter syringe that we went over, but it's not measured in milliliters, it's measured in units. So as you can see with this, we have our top line, which is zero, and this is going to measure in increments of two. So the next line would be two units, then four units, six units, eight units, and then 10 units, and then onward until you would give a total of 100 units. Based on the yellow line, what is the measurement of this syringe? The answer is 72 units. Okay, so that wraps up this video on how to read the common syringes you will encounter as a nurse. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more videos.